With store and forward switching, a switch wants to make sure that a frame is valid, that it's not corrupt, before it starts to forward it out. After all, that would just waste bandwidth if we're forwarding corrupted frames. So what the switch does, it waits until it receives the entire frame. Not just the first 48 bits, not just the first six bytes, the destination MAC address, in other words. It waits until it receives the entire frame, and it looks at this frame check sequence. And the switch is going to calculate, using an algorithm, it's going to calculate its own frame check sequence. So the switch creates an FCS of its own. And if the FCS in the frame equals the FCS calculated by the switch, the switch can conclude with reasonable certainty that this is a valid frame. It has not been corrupted in transmission, therefore I feel comfortable forwarding it out toward the destination. Advocates of store and forward switching would point this out, saying that we're not going to waste bandwidth by beginning to forward a frame that's invalid anyway, because we're going to be checking the frame check sequence calculation embedded in the frame with our own calculation. And if they match, it must be a good frame. The downside is that this might be a little bit slower than cut through switching because we are waiting until we receive the entire frame before we begin forwarding that frame.